Hi, my name is Jake and I'm a motion designer from Ukraine. And now we will make this effect. I've created my Patreon page. As you can guess, After Effects tutorials doesn't drive much views, so I can't even get $50 per month from my channel. This is why I take breaks from this channel to work on freelance jobs to earn some money. And this is why I've created my Patreon page. It's first link in description. I would appreciate any help to support me to continue creating tutorials for you. Just check first link in description to support my channel. Let's get started. I'm using Adobe After Effects EC 2015. This footage you can find in the description below. So let's drag and drop on this icon here to create new composition. And then let's go to edit, duplicate. Now we are going to work with our hand. So about here at this point in time, let's cut to this moment. And about here, let's cut it to this moment. Now let's go to this rectangle tool here. Left mouse click and hold to select this ellipse. And here in the center, hold control, shift and left mouse click and drag to create a perfect circle. Let's move it over. And now you can press M to see our mask, right mouse click on it and go to track mask. Once your tracking is complete, we can rename it. Just select the layer, press return on keyboard and name it matte. Then go to effect, color correction, curves. Let's make this curve here. So our goal is to see only our hand then let's press M on keyboard to see mask properties. And let's change our expansion to see only our hand. Then let's change mask feather. I set mine to 77. Close it here. And now let's duplicate. Select it and go to edit, duplicate. This bottom one, we can call it fingers. Let's press M on keyboard and delete mask. And then let's set it to luma matte. Let's set fingers to transfer mode, add. Let's reset this curve here and make this kind of curve. Let's go to effect and presets and type VC color vibrance. This is free plugin and link to it will be in description below. Let's set color to this reddish color here. Click OK. Then let's apply turbulence displace. Just type here turbulence and drag and drop on our layer. I'll set my values to 110 at amount and size to 26. We can also solo our layer to see it better. Let's also apply fast blur or Gaussian blur. I'll set mine to 18. So now we have this basic glow. Now we can select our matte layer and go to edit, duplicate. Let's copy all effects from fingers. Select first one, press Ctrl A to select all of them and go to edit, copy. And here at matte layer, let's delete these curves and press Ctrl V to paste. Let's make few changes here. Let's recreate this curve which was before and then select transfer mode to add. Now let's apply a tint effect just above VC color vibrance. It will allow VC color vibrance to work better. Let's change our turbulence displace amount to 200 and size to about 18. So we would have this kind of wispy motion. Also let's fast blur set to 10 to see it better. Just hold alt key on keyboard and left mouse click on this stopwatch. Here we can type expression, just type in time, multiply, 250 and click anywhere. Now we have this kind of wispy magic animation. We can also duplicate this layer to amplify the effect. Just select it and go to edit, duplicate. We can turn off the tint effect and make few changes to turbulence displays. Just select our layer and press U key on keyboard two times to see this expression here. Let's change it to 150. And now we've added more wispy motion. So this is basically our hand effect. Just make sure to save your project a bunch of times because VC Color Vibrance plugin may crash your After Effects. So be careful with it. Just make sure to save your project more often. I already crashed mine. So now I'm going to show you the part with the eyes. Let's duplicate our layer. Go to Edit, Duplicate. Let's rename it to Eyes. Select this Ellipse tool here. Hold Ctrl and Shift to create perfect circle like this. Then right mouse click on Mask and select track mask. Once you've tracked your eyes, you can apply some curves. Just go to effect, color correction curves. I just make this contrast here by making this curve and in red channel, I just bring it up. You can apply more curves effect. If you want, you need to press M, M twice on keyboard to see our mask and change feather to about four and change expansion to value which looks better. And then just tweak your curves to get the result which you want. Now let's work on our little magic explosion. Let's go to layer, new, solid. 
I'll call it fractal because we are going to use effect fractal noise. Just type in here fractal and drag and drop fractal noise to our layer. Fractal type, let's set it to dynamic progressive. Let's also click on this checkbox here to invert it. I'll set my contrast to 567 and brightness to minus 91. Let's also add some animation. So hold Alt key on keyboard and left mouse click on this evolution stopwatch. And now we can type expression. Let's type in here time multiply 250. So now we have some animation here. And now let's set a keyframe to brightness just about here before one second. Let's create a keyframe and about here after two seconds. Let's change our brightness value to about minus 306 to make it vanish. Then let's select our rectangle tool. Just click and hold here and select rectangle tool and draw a mask like this here. Let's maybe change feather to a bit higher value and set a keyframe at the beginning and move it above. And about here, let's move it just below the center of the frame. I don't like these white borders. Let's apply a rough and edges. Edge type, let's set it to spiky. Border, I set to 103 and scale to 207. I think we can delete our feather. I'll set it to zero. And now we have this kind of motion. Select our fractal layer and go to layer precompose. I'll call it map and click on this checkbox to move all attributes to the new composition and click OK. Now we can apply effect called polar coordinates, drag and drop on our layer. Let's set it to rect to polar and let's set it to 100. Then let's set transfer mode to add and also let's apply a vector blur. Just drag and drop on our layer here. Amount, let's set it to 14. Now, as you can see, we have this kind of effect, which looks better. Now let's go to effect color correction curves, add some contrast so we would see it better, as you can see. And then let's apply VC color vibrance. Just drag and drop on our layer, set color to reddish again. Make sure to save your project. And now we can animate our scale. Press S on keyboard to see our scale. About here, let's create a keyframe. At the beginning, let's set it to 20. And here, let's set it to about 175. Then click here to go to graph editor. Click here and drag by this handle. It will make smoother motion. We can also open this map composition and tweak few settings. Just press U on keyboard to see our keyframes. By spreading apart, we can regulate how fast motion would be. So I'm happy with this result. Let's also apply turbulence displays. Type in here turbulence displays. Just drag and drop on our footage and set amount to 61 and size to 44. So now we have some variation. It looks pretty cool. We can also change scale at the beginning and the, at the last frame to make it more 3D dimensional. Now let's work with our shooting magic. Select our map layer, go to layer, precompose. I'll call it shoot. Let's open this composition and disable our polar coordinates. Then press S on keyboard to see our scale and delete all keyframes. Then you can right mouse click on this layer and go to transform, fit to comp. Then press R on keyboard to see our rotation. Let's set it to minus 95. And just by using these handles, let's stretch out like this. Then let's select this rectangle tool here and cut this part. Then you can press F on keyboard to see our feather. I'll set mine to 156 and we can play around with our scale to create this kind of beam of magic. You can change these values as you want. Now we can go to footage and set transfer mode to add. Let's move our layer in time about here as also in the frame like it's shooting out of my fingers. Let's press S on keyboard to change our scale and I place just right at my fingers. Let's also apply an effect called turbulence displays. Just drag and drop on our layer. I'll change amount to 55 and size to 55 also. So now we would have this kind of wispier look. Let's time it well, just about here and move it over. Okay, it looks good. And now let's apply some blur, fast blur or Gaussian blur. I'll set to really small value just to get rid of this crispiness. I'll set to 7. It looks good. You can also duplicate our map layer and make few changes to curves as well to scale if you want to add more complexity. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.